In this Learning Byte for Windows Small Business Server 2011 Essentials, we'll take a look at the Dashboard, which is an intuitive, task-oriented administration console that allows you to manage your user accounts, computers and backup, server folders and hard drives, as well as add-ins which can extend the features and functionality of the server environment. On the home page, we can see a number of getting started tasks which guide you through the initial configuration process for the server. There's also a set of common tasks which you can use to perform day-to-day -day tasks once the server has been set up. On the right-hand side, we can see a number of community links which can also help you gain more information and insight into managing your server. Across all pages of the console, we can also see an alert summary which gives you a quick snapshot of the health of the server environment as well as the client computers. We take a deeper look at the Alert Center in an additional Learning Byte video. On the Users tab, we can see all of the users that have been created to access the resources on the SBS server. From here, we can create new accounts, modify the password policy, or perform tasks for specific users, such as viewing and modifying their account properties, deactivating the account or removing it entirely, or resetting that user's password. On the Computers and Backup tab, we can see the server and computers that comprise the SBS environment. See their status, description, backup status, and alert status, which can help you to proactively manage your environment by alerting you to issues that need to be addressed in your environment. As you select an individual PC or server, you can see additional tasks relating to that object, including viewing its properties, starting a backup, restoring files for that computer, customizing its backup, viewing the specific alerts for that computer, or removing it from the environment. On the Server Folders and Hard Drives tab, we can see a list of the shared folders which have been created for storing data on the server. Again, as we select an individual object, we can see specific tasks relating to that. Here we have the option to open the folder to see its contents, remove the folder, view the folder properties, move the folder to a different physical hard drive, or to stop sharing the folder. We can also, of course, add a new shared folder and get help on understanding shared folders. On the Hard Drive subtab, we can see the different physical hard drives that comprise the server environment. Here we can see that we have three hard drives available, including the system drive, as well as a couple of data drives. The last tab is the add-ins page, where we can manage any add-ins that have been installed on the SBS server. And finally, we have the server settings. From here, we can adjust the date, time, and region for the server, as well as set the Windows Update settings. From here, we can also set the remote web access properties, including setting it up and customizing it. So that's a quick look at the dashboard for Windows Small Business Server 2011 Essentials. Thank you for watching this Learning Byte video, and I hope you join us for future videos.